The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight. Lucky day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before those guns started up again. Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest, but hopefully, most of them would be looking for trouble coming the other way. Hopefully. A dozen German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course.
anything survive the crash that might be useful? George Rackham, are you? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> How naive do you think I am? Oh. Uh, let's get out of here. Losing a lot of blood. I didn't have much time to get him back alive. The Germans aren't really known for giving up. They did it. in the light. Wilson said I was a no good, lying son of a bitch. I brought him home because I think he's probably right. And I hate that fact more than I can tell you. Who's that mate, Glenn? This guy's a bloody hero. No, he's nothing of the sort. He's a cheat, a thief, and a liar. And he'll answer for his crimes.
to the farm, are you? I'm gonna speak up for you, you know, at the court martial. It might do you some I doubt good, it, but thanks. Wilson, with me. I need a gunner. Over here. I'll, I'll do it. Rackham, let me help. You don't deserve to fly. Wilson, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die up there. Come on, let's do this.
German on the stand balloon's gonna hear you. Keep him busy!
That's my story. A selfish man who risked his own life to save another, and in doing so, found he was saved himself. Things get mixed up in wartime, though, and you'll probably hear other versions. A rogue pilot who stole a plane, who killed his buddy, then lied, cheated, and murdered his way across half the Western Front, only to escape court-martial in the chaos of an air raid. But don't listen to any of that. What you heard from me is the truth. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Would I?